Good morning and welcome to the Bulldog Morning News Show, the place for you to find out everything going on here at McCracken Middle School. I'm Coleman Jacoby, a 7th grader here at McCracken Middle School. Good morning McCracken, I am Savannah. Let's get today started. I would like to invite you to stand and say the Pledge of Allegiance with me and please pause for a moment of silence afterwards. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, McCracken, I'm super excited about what we are going to start here in this upcoming week, which is our McCracken Minute. And the support staff here at McCracken, administrators, counselors, behavior management, etc., we're going to be challenging you every day with a word and a challenge. And it doesn't take any longer than a minute for you to complete our challenge, but we're hoping that you're up to it. And the, the premise of this is to be kind, be respectful, be positive, really grasp what we are about at McCracken, but we're going to give you a challenge each and every day. So my question to you is, what are you going to do with your minute? Good morning, McCracken. This is Miss Ballard. I am the lead school counselor and I work with those great, wonderful seventh graders most of the time. I'm gonna be talking about honesty for the McCracken Minute. You need to know what it is. Honesty is one of the most important character traits for us to learn, especially at an early age. And you need to know the definition. I know sometimes we forget that it, it is a great quality um, it's a fact of being truthful and sincere and being fair. If we can master those skills, we've come, we are doing really good. Honesty requires us to, be, to face reality and tell or present the truth, even when we're tempted to not tell the truth. It's really hard to keep up with a lie, so don't put yourself in that situation. Facing the truth is always better than telling a lie. When you are honest, you speak the truth. And that's what we're all wanting to do. Let's be honest with each other more often. I want each of us to be able to say, believe, and live this statement about honesty. I am honest to myself and to others. I try to present myself and my reactions accurately to each person, and I take responsibility for my actions. That's the key. Because even when you mess up, just take responsibility. The minute challenge of the day is take a minute to reflect on what honesty means to you. Thank you, guys. Hi everybody, this is Miss Jolly and we are looking for flag duty attenders. We need someone who can put the flag up, take the flag down, and fold the flag. And in the morning we need you for somewhere between 8.15 to 8.30 a.m. and in the afternoon come up to the front office at 3.15 to go out and take down the flag. Um, some of the criteria that we need for a student um, is good grades, responsible, you have permission from your eighth grade period teacher, electives uh, preferably, also excellent leadership and follower skills because an excellent leader is formed by being an excellent follower and also we need someone that learns quickly and with confidence. So if you are interested in helping us with our flag every day, email me at Dorothy, D-O-R-O-T-H-Y dot Jolly with one L, J-O-L-Y at Buford dot K-12 dot S-C dot U-S. All right, whatever it takes. Would you like to become a host for the Bulldog Morning News Show? It's fun. We have a script to read and you meet her in the green room by 8.30 so that you have time to film before a homeroom. The morning host schedule will be posted outside of the media center near the bulletin board. Here is Miss Sunday with details on how to turn in your information. We are looking for some new talent anchors to host our Bulldog Morning Show. So if that interests you, you can be in grade 6, 7th, or 8th. This is available for all students. The only requirement is that we film before school, so you would need to make sure you're here at school on the days you are filming by 8.30. So just keep that in mind if you're going to be able to do that. So to fill out an application, you're gonna to come to the Media Center. As soon as you walk in the Media Center doors to the left, there's the podium, which is pictured right there. Down on the bottom shelf, there are the papers that you will need to pick up. 
on the paper you will fill out your name, your grade level, and um, your homeroom teacher. You will need to take this home and get it signed by your parent. We want your parent's permission because we upload our morning news show to YouTube. So just to make sure that they are fine with you being an anchor on our news show. When you have it completed, you'll bring it back to the media center and that blue bin right behind the papers is where you will turn it in. Um, when we do our morning news show, we film it in the green screen room. You do have a script um, that is given to you, but you can also add to it and put your own personality in there. We love seeing that. Once you have filled out your um, permission form to be on the morning news show, if you want to find out when you are scheduled to be on there, I post the Bulldog News Show schedule outside of the media center. So this is our media center entrance and you're going to look for the big bulletin board and right beside it is the Bulldog News Schedule bulletin board. And this is where I post who our hosts are and what weeks they are here or days. This is where I post what days our Bulldogs News Anchors will be hosting the morning show. So on those mornings that you're scheduled, you'll need to come on into the Media Center as soon as you get to school and begin filming and we will have you done and on your way by time for homeroom. We hope lots of you will take this opportunity to join the Bulldog News Show. H.E. McCracken Middle School, we have some exciting news. It is time for the Woohoo Cart to come back. The Woohoo Cart, if you were not here last year and are new to McCracken, is a special cart brought to us by our fabulous PTO and business partners here at McCracken Middle. This cart comes around every Wednesday to kind of lighten our moods, give us something good to enjoy and look forward to. When they come in the classroom, teachers will pick students who are doing an exceptional job and call on them to go pick prizes off of the Woohoo cart. Usually those prizes are snacks, treats, pins, pencils, things like this. The Woohoo cart is always decked out and dressed to impress and they come around to all staff and students um, for every classroom. Again, it's up to your teachers who they nominate to get items off the Woohoo cart. So to begin our first week of the Woohoo cart, we need four eighth grade volunteers to help out our fabulous PTO as they go around with the Woohoo cart. Now, those four fabulous eighth grade volunteers will need to tell Miss Jolly up in the front office that they're interested in helping with the Woohoo cart. And they will need to make sure they have all assignments turned in and they are on top of everything in class. There's always something good about being in the right place at the right time. All right, so let's spread that love and kindness and enjoy our Woohoo cart celebration coming back to McCracken. Check out this new way of spreading kindness here at McCracken. Hey guys, this is Mrs. K, your school social worker. I just want to take a moment and share about my door. If you've walked by lately, you've seen that there's a sign that says, take what you need, and then a bunch of envelopes all over my door. And I just want to share with you that this was just a way that I wanted to encourage both staff and students around this time of transitioning back to school face-to-face -face for so many of you and transitioning to the second half of the year for all of us. I just felt that both staff and students could use a little boost of inspiration and a reminder to keep going on the difficult days that all of us face. Each envelope has a different topic to choose from, hope, patience, love, confidence, kindness, and gratitude, and they're all filled with some quotes or sayings that can bring a smile to your face or just a little reminder, a positive reminder to keep going when it's tough. I just hope that it brings you the joy that it's bringing me already seeing staff and students stop by for these reminders, and um, I'm in roommate 29 if you need some positive encouragement today. Have a good one, guys. Congratulations, we made 500 Valentine's Day cards. We'll be busy tomorrow checking if they're quality cards. Stay tuned next week for the announcement on our dress down day. Have a great day, and remember, do whatever it takes to make today an awesome one. Go Bulldogs! <laughs> 